guys welcome back to coding stuff and in this video we're gonna learn how we can add some animations to recycler view so i have created one recycler view as you can see in my activity main i have one recycler view then i have one model class each item is just an image view and the text view and themes uh, i changed action bar to no action bar and i changed status bar color to purple 200 this one and then i have set up adapter for our recycler view so as you can see it's simple adapter and also have added the id to our card view this one so you can create your own recycler view or you can just get this code from the description box uh, i have provided github link to my code so you can get it from there so we'll start with a simple animation so for adding the animation we need to click on this resource package and then click new android resource directory we'll select anim here and click on ok inside this i uh, will add an animation resource file let's give it name as anim1 okay so before adding animation I have added some data to the list uh, it is static data coming from the variables and some random names as you can see I have added lots of data so first I uh, will see how our app looks like now before we add the animations so I'll scroll it scroll it and it's simple recycle view so let me just minimize this so now we'll move to the anim one and we'll try to implement a simple slide in animation so here as you can see we get alpha scale rotate set and translate animations so now we'll select alpha animation and basically what alpha animation means uh, it controls alpha level of an object in easy word uh, it controls fading in and fading out of an object so yeah from alpha and we'll set zero here and then to alpha one and we'll set duration we'll set duration as 600 milliseconds and we'll close it so now we're gonna add a translate animation so what translate animation is uh, it just specify the position of an object so from x delta so we'll set minus 100 percent so it will be invisible at the start and then to x delta we'll keep it 0% and similarly we'll set and duration here as well so duration equals to 600 milliseconds so now we need to set this to our adapter so inside the item adapter in on bind view holder holder dot card view start animation animation utils dot load animation here we need to pass the context as a first parameter so holder dot item view dot get context r dot anim dot anim1 and now i'm gonna click on the run button and we'll see how does it look so as you can see it just uh, slide in so card is sliding in that's the animation okay so let's move on to the another animation so again we'll create new animation we'll name it as anim2 so now we'll try uh, this from y direction so we'll copy this and i'm gonna paste it over here so instead of from x delta we'll set from y delta and now we'll keep it 200 percent minus 200 percent and this will be y and inside the adapter we're gonna change this to anim2 and i will click on the run button so as you can see it is sliding from the top in, in, in the y direction so yeah now we'll move to the another animation and you can just play with these values and see how does it look or you can just play with the duration you can set it 900 500 or 400 maybe so yeah so now we'll move to the another animation so i'll click on the package and i'll name it as anim3 
and we're gonna copy this alpha means we're gonna add the fading animations and this time we'll try with the rotate so rotate so from degrees I'm gonna set a minus 15 two degrees and I'm gonna set 0 and we need to set the pivot points so pivot X will be 0 percent and pivot Y will set it to 100 percent and again we'll set the duration so duration will be equals to 600 milliseconds so let's move to the item adapter and this time it will be anim 3 and I'm gonna click on the run button so yeah as you can see it rotates it doesn't look that good but yeah we also have this kind of animation and now we'll move to the fourth animation that I like the most and I use it so many times so animation resource we'll name it as anim4 hit enter so again we're gonna copy this alpha I'm gonna paste it over here so now this time we'll use scale from x scale we'll set 0 here from y scale we'll set 0 to x scale we'll set 1 and to y scale we'll set 1 and the last we're gonna add the duration so android duration equals to we'll use 600 milliseconds so what scale animation does it it just uh, scales the object so we set from x scale 0 means it is invisible to x scale 1 means it's at full width and similarly with y from y 0 to to full uh, y axis height so yeah now we're gonna just uh, set it to our adapter and info and we'll run the app so as you can see so it looks cool to me so yeah that's it for this video do subscribe and thank you for watching